great pleasure to introduce to you Manhattan Borough President Scott Stringer. Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, I want to start out by uh, thanking your great executive director, Jackie Berger. Give her a very big round of This organization, Just Food, is transforming the way we view these issues, and I have been very proud to partner with Jackie and all the people involved. We have had a tremendous amount of success. We'll talk about that in a few minutes, but I also want to rec uh, recognize somebody who I worked with when I was in the State Assembly, somebody who is now a great commissioner of agriculture working on these issues. He taught me about what it's like to live on a farm, and I'm teaching him about how to navigate Manhattan. But well, Commissioner Orbitine, I'm great that you're here in this borough. So I want to give him a round of applause. And all the way from Washington, we're in for a real treat to hear from Kathleen Bergen, and I just want to give her a big round of applause. So I just want to say a couple things for you to think about as it relates to the issues that you will deal with today. The truth of the matter is that in New York right now, 1.5 million people do not have an adequate supply of food, and 25% are children. We're not even talking about healthy food, just food. Too many people in the city are living in poverty, and that is also a food justice issue as well. Communities of color in New York City have some of the highest rates of diabetes, of, of diabetes and obesity in this country. Whole areas in this city are food deserts, not food desserts, food deserts. We have so many problems, yet believe it or not, the solutions are right here in our own backyard. New York State has more than 36,000 farms. Farming in our state is worth $4.4 billion a year and employs tens of thousands of people. Here in New York City, Urban farmers, like many of you, are growing food and hope in over 500 community gardens in all five boroughs. That is transformational, don't you agree? That is significant. Now, New York City is the largest buyer of food after the U.S. military, yet we don't have local procurement policies. We need regional economic development that connects upstate farmers with New York City residents especially in our challenged economic, our economic neediest communities. Why should we think about buying apples in Washington State? We can get them right here in Washington County. We should be thinking about bringing the food supply closer to home. What I like about Just Food is they understand, and you understand, that every time we gather a thousand people as we did back in 2009 for a couple of days to break out into workshops and have these discussions, great change occurs. Every time you talk and think about policies, City Hall and New York State, listen, this is one of those issues where the public and the people and the advocates and the activists actually are driving this train and don't let us down. We have to think about how we finish this wonderful canvas because so many lives, not just people today, but the kids of tomorrow are depending on how we deal with this very important issue. Now I want to just show you what happens when Just Food and offices partner. Just last year, we joined with Just Food to highlight challenges facing community-based farmer markets. These markets are created by the community, for the community, to get fresh food in underserved areas. And yet, the city of New York hits these farmers with high fees, confusing regulations, parking tickets every single day. It costs more money to operate a farm because you have to pay for the tickets and you can't navigate the bureaucracy than just setting up shop and getting things done in the right way. When we published our report, we called attention to the problem and we got results. Governor Cuomo has now launched a program to assist markets operating in underserved areas and the New York City Parks Department recently told us it would waive fees 
for markets in low-income areas. We can change policy. We can change it. So, Jackie mentioned the work of our office, the Go Green Farmer Markets, Harlem Farm Share, Youth Bucks, where we bring kids to farmer's markets, we give them a $2, compound, a $2 coupon, they go home with grapes and strawberries, and they show their parents what they want to eat. These are all programs that in every community can change the way people think about food supply and healthy eating. But there is much more that we have to do in a very big way, and I want to leave you with just some ideas to think about as you deal with issues today. We must have an office of food and markets. We need a commissioner in this city of food and markets to deal with all of these issues. Think about what would happen instead of having one or two people deal with food procurement. Imagine if there was actually a city agency. Let's have that discussion today if you can. We also need legislation that would require city agencies to prioritize local producers in food procurement. Once we identify the vendors, we can then empower our local communities. We also need to create green jobs by investing in local food processing and distribution infrastructure. So we have to set up a business plan that's going to create value-added discussion and actually think about the numbers when you think about food supply and production. And finally, we need to support urban agriculture. The future for New York City and other urban cities is going to be about vertical farming. We're going to, we don't have a lot of land in Manhattan, Commissioner, but boy, the sky's the limit. We have rooftops galore. And we want to create that kind of farming right here in the heart of this city to feed our people in the most healthy way. If we do this, we will transform our economy. We will make sure that people live to 100. We will lead the world in food supply production and transforming what I think is one of the key social justice issues of our time. The way we do it is what we're doing here today. We get up early in the morning after doing this yesterday and making policy, not coffee, building this movement in a way that will make every elected official, from the president to the president to our local leaders, to change this planet in a positive way. Thank you, Just Food. Enjoy today. It's always great to be with all of you. Thank you very much.